This is the Epic TV Surf Report. Welcome to part two of the second edition of Tweets of the Week. While part one of this two-part bout of verbal diarrhea was aimed entirely at the hashtag Vulcan Fiji Pro, part two is a completely random selection of tweets on a selection of completely random topics. I'll get the ball rolling with a little bit from the inertia. And this, dear friends, is Taiwan. Didn't expect that, huh? Photos by Joker and Arts. Perfect point breaks and damn fine fishing. Hashtag made in Taiwan. On a much more serious topic than places you'd never have thought to go on a surf trip, Gary Young wants us to retweet this topic like you'd pass along a mug of sunshine. If you buy into surfing, it's important. At Schumacher Corey is educating us. Hashtag gadfly. Three-time ASP Women's World Longboard Champion, out of the closet lesbian, and cape crusader against everything wrong in this world, Corey Schumacher has her website up and running, www.coreyschumacher.com. Hashtag surfing renaissance. Recent targets of Corey's ire are Kelly Slater and Quicksilver over the Monsanto connection. Anti-Monsanto activist surfer Kelly Slater's company Quicksilver deep in GM cotton. Hashtag you've been warned. Don't piss that lady off. She went after Billabong and look what happened. Found this heroine. Anyone want to guess who the sponsor was? <coughs> Hashtag Billabong. <coughs> Hashtag Bo Stanley. Hashtag shame on Billabong. And not long after, they're about to go bankrupt. Oh, I've lost everything. As Matt in Brazil let us know, Billabong shares halved yesterday down to 23 Australian cents. If I were at Quicksilver HQ, I'd be a bit worried. They've lost 32 million US dollars this week alone. Quicksilver Q2 losses expand to 32 million. Transworld business. Watch out, Transworld business dudes. Keep announcing news like that and you might lose an advertiser or two. Over at Surfer Mag, Brendan Thomas picked up on the theme. Nuclear titties no more. And not Dane Reynolds raised a glass in celebration. Cheers. Hopefully those giant concrete boobs will never lactate again. Hashtag San Onofre. And on another toothy subject, nothing like a few shark stories to reel in them views, eh? Thanks to Wordson for this one. Good old new Smyrna Beach. And shot brew to the South African crew at Zigzag Mag, who know a thing or two about our toothy friends, for this catch from Surf City, California, USA. Half ton Mako shark caught off Huntington Beach. Speaking of man-eating sea creatures, there are a few chunks of flesh left floating around the Twittersphere after the last Tehupo session. Kooks McGee reckons this about surfing the place. It's like rock climbing, but in the ocean. What do leprechauns and Jamie O'Brien have in common? They both enjoy chasing pots of gold at the end of rainbows. And this was the wave's special gift to Alain Ryu on his birthday. Not many sets out here today, so I took out my TV. Hashtag stuff you find in the lagoon. And I must admit, I feel sorry for neglecting our favorite surfer girl derriere lately. So to make it up to you, here's a little tweet from a man who knows a thing or two about hot ass. Matt in Brazil says, stargaze, intransitive verb. For example, to stargaze, to daydream of Alana Blanchard's butt. And since I don't want to leave you with the salty taste of sweat in your mouth, here are a few words of wisdom to chase the image of Alana's butt from your brain. Hashtag not a chance. But Art's Eye wants to try anyway. Three things can't be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Buddha. Hashtag sunset. Hashtag spring. Hashtag sea. Thanks for tuning in to the Epic TV Surf Report. Until next time, don't forget to get wet.